Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Baker Demare. If you're new here, we're here at London and Lace doing another episode of our bridal series, and this week is the Boho Bride. So, this dress is called the Persephone by Claire Pettibone, and I love this. I just think something about it is so elegant, but at the same time simple, and I wanted to do my hair and my makeup to really match this. So, if you wanna see this look, keep watching. So for hair, I'm gonna do some type of like loose beach wave because I just want to be like super beachy, bronzy, boho looking. I'm going to spray in my heat spray and I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and while I let it sit, I'm going to put in my Bumble and Bumble dry shampoo. All right, now I'm gonna take the under, I'm gonna split my hair so that I can get like the under layers of it. Okay, and to get that beachy wave look, I'm gonna use a curling rod this time so it doesn't have any type of clip or anything on it. You just wrap the hair around it and let it fall. It gives it more of like that mermaidy beachy wave as opposed to more of the like voluminous kind of loose curls. And this is the new me one and a half inch rod. So it's a little bit thicker as you can see. Um, so it'll allow for a little bit of a thicker beach wave as opposed to super tight. So I'm gonna take a chunk of my hair and do it the same that I would do whenever I curl it, kind of take it back this way, but I'm gonna keep wrapping as I go. So I'm twirling it. So it's a little bit tighter. As you can see, it's not like flat against it because I want it to be more of that beach wave. And I'm gonna hold it there for about 15 seconds. Then I'm gonna let it fall into my hand like so. Okay, so that looks a little bit different than your average curls, a little bit tighter and more like together. And I'm just gonna do that all around my head. Once I've done all of these curls, I'm gonna take my hairspray, and this is the Sheriff by Dry Bar. Their stuff smells so good. It smells like vanilla something. But anyways, I'm gonna spray all these curls while they're still super tight to make sure that they keep their shape. I'm just gonna brush through it really lightly just to get that kind of loose curl look. Okay, so here's the final hair look. Just long, kind of messy, beachy waves. And I didn't put any like extra volume in my hair. I wanted it to kind of fall more naturally. Um, this is gonna be like a bronzed, beachy, boho look. So I wanted to make sure that the curls match that and weren't like super perfect and tightly curled, that they're just kind of loose and fall as if you've been walking on the beach. What the freak did I just say? So for this look, I wanna do more of a natural look and super bronzy to where it looks like I just came off the beach, super boho. So first I'm gonna go in with my Milk Makeup Blurring Stick. I'm then going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and this is in the shade 120. And with a damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Next, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer, and this is in the shade 2W. I'm gonna take it up under my eyes. I have a mirror sitting right here, which is why I'm looking this way. So I'm gonna take it up under my eyes. And then down my chin a little bit on the areas that I want to highlight and then make kind of a V in the middle of my forehead. set this, I'm gonna take my NYX HG Studio setting powder, take my beauty blender and just pat that in there. 
and then press it in under my eyes. I really like the way this powder looks on your skin. It kind of gives it a blurring effect. So the other day I went to go do my eyebrows and my eyebrow pencil ran out. So I had to grab one really quick and I saw this e.l.f. one, like the e.l.f. brand, at the drugstore and it was like $2. So I've been trying it and I've actually really been loving it. So this is, I don't know if it has a shade on it, but it's just the e.l.f. brow pencil. And on one side it has like the little brush and then on the other side, the filler. So I'm gonna brush them out first. And then I'm gonna fill them in a little bit darker than I do usually. Then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and set them. Next, I'm gonna take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm gonna take it around my temples first. Then where I would usually contour. And then I'm just gonna blend it all out. There's these girls walking by the studio right now and I literally feel so uncomfy. <laughs> Make sure I take my bronzer down my neck so I don't have an orange face and a white neck. No one likes that. Then I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit and I'm gonna actually pick up the lightest shade first. And bring it on top of the cheekbone. Then I'm gonna take just a little bit of the darker shade and contour just a little bit. Again, I want this to be more of like a natural look and more bronzy and sun-kissed than it is glam. So after I'm done contouring, I'm gonna take this angled brush again and pick up my bronzer and go on top of where I contoured. Okay, then after I'm done doing that, I'm gonna take this Pacifica blush palette and I'm gonna take the darker one that looks a little bit more like a bronzer and then just a touch of the pink and put it on the balls of my cheeks. Next, I'm gonna take this highlighter and actually use it as an eyeshadow and take it along my eyelid. I'm gonna take that same highlighter and use it over my cheekbones and this is just the Becca Champagne Pop. Do a little bit on my nose, and then take my finger and put right here on my cupid's bow. And then just a dash underneath my lips. <gasps> ah, I got a puppy! They say hey, they say hey. This is Johnny Cash, everyone. The mascot of London and Lace right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this bronzer and put it over my eyelids on both sides. Okay, for the lips, I'm gonna go in with this lip pencil by MAC, and this is in the shade Boldly Bear. I'm then gonna take this Urban Decay Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Stark Naked. And do it just a little bit over my lips. Right before I do my mascara, I always like to do my setting spray so that it doesn't bleed underneath my eyes. And this is just the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Lastly, for the mascara, I'm using this CoverGirl Lash Blast volume. Okay, so this is a finished makeup. Wanted it to be, again, kind of a natural bronzy look. Now it's time to put on the dress.
enjoyed this video and if you like series like this or if you like the bridal series makeup please leave a comment and a like down below and I'll see y'all next week bye okay for <laughs> I got one it's more of a natural okay flawless fleet <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Get this out of my face.